Thank you very much, Senior uh, Raz. Auzubillahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbi Shrahi Sadri wa Jassili Amri. Walu lukta tamil lisani yafkahu kali. Uh, I am grateful uh, to Allah Almighty that He has given us strength uh, to do this noble job of teaching and learning and disseminating the knowledge which uh, is being generated over here or in our sister organizations. Thank you very much, Hafiz for your nice recitation. Uh, <laughs> of course, we cannot negate the blessings of Allah. Uh, first of all, I am thankful to all the participants, but before thanking the participants, let me uh, extend my thanks to our resource person, uh, Dr. Athar Ashraf. Uh, he is a very uh, good friend of uh, our university, uh, and uh, he has been kind enough to uh, spare time whenever we have requested him. Uh, he has been with us uh, in uh, another uh, event. Uh, we have uh, organized uh, training uh, of GIS and he was kind enough to uh, give time for that training also in a UNESCO project a couple of years back. Thank you very much Dr. Ashraf for sparing your time for this uh, uh, workshop. The topic of uh, watershed modeling using Python and PyShift uh, I will talking about this topic, uh, but uh, let me uh, thank you, thank the participants also. Most of them hopefully will be our, our students, but uh, participants are expected to come from uh, uh, field also because these workshops are not uh, only for the students. So uh, the, all the organizations whose uh, representatives are uh, sitting in this uh, online workshop, I wholeheartedly welcome them to this uh, uh, workshop. Uh, watershed modeling using Python and PyShed uh, 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 is, we have been carrying out watershed modeling. Uh, and uh, we have been carrying out uh, this watershed modeling using standard methods. We have uh, been trained, we have been informed. But using Python and PyShed is a relatively new thing. Python is, I think, uh, uh, language for nowadays. Now the uh, days of Visual Basic and uh, days of uh, Fortran are, seems to be over and more user, more user friendly, more uh, uh, humanized uh, languages are there and Python is one of them. And uh, if my students, if my colleagues and myself are familiar uh, with uh, new tools, we will be better understanding our nature, we will be better understanding our environment, and we will be better uh, predicting the behavior of uh, uh, this environment and nature in a better way. Because we want uh, a good place for living, we want uh, a good place for our development, so uh, we have to understand it as uh, best way as possible so that its behavior in future can be predicted. And one way of understanding the behavior of a watershed is through watershed simulation and watershed modeling. Different tools will be available. Python is not the only one uh, way. This will help you uh, download the data and simulate your equations and uh, solve your equations. But other, other methods are also available, available. So whichever tool you use, purpose is that we should understand the nature in the best possible way so that we can predict its behavior. I was uh, listening to a speech of uh, UN Secretary General Andros uh, uh, and he was saying that uh, nature is angry. Rather they are using it is code red now in this year they have said that it is code red and uh, we have to uh, respond to the signals from the nature because uh, uh, we have done something wrong to the nature and uh, nature is telling us that we are not performing in a good way. So we have to mend our behavior. Uh, now it is clear that the change in climate and the change in temperature is not uh, a natural phenomena. It has clear linkages with our daily uh, lifestyle, our daily uh, societal uh, uh, working use of the uh, fossil fuels and our behavior. So 
if we think that uh, we can fool the nature, actually we are fooling ourselves. So we have to understand the messages of the nature, that is uh, temperature enhancement, change of uh, climates, shifting of the climates, uh, enhanced uh, extreme events, and that we can understand in a better way if we have uh, uh, knowledge of the tools and knowledge of the equations and knowledge of the uh, models which can predict or which can simulate nature in a better way. This today workshop is an effort towards uh, our uh, struggle that uh, our students when they will be graduated from here and our friends who are already in the field, they should be familiarized, they should be informed with the latest tools of watershed modeling. Watershed modeling, uh, one aspect is with respect to how the hydrological impact will be there for the meteorological events like rainfall and the snowfall. And the second thing is what will be the uh, yield of the sediments from a watershed uh, because of some of the interventions from the human being. So if we are changing the land use pattern, hydrological behavior and sediment response will be different. If we are changing our uh, Grouping patterns, behavior will be different. So we have to, as a water experts and a watershed experts, we have to uh, simulate them, forecast them, so that we can tell the policy makers, we can tell the decisions maker. So this way of working is uh, hazardous. And if we uh, choose this uh, alternate way, which is more nature friendly, that is uh, more sustainable in the long run. So purpose is understanding nature and predicting the effect of the human activities on the nature, natural phenomena. So this uh, work watershed modeling using Python will be helping us in this regard. I have not been informed uh, how many uh, people have registered, but uh, I am seeing that at the moment we have uh, more than 30 uh, participants that are already joined in this workshop. So I expect that it will be a knowledgeable event and the next uh, uh, four or five hours uh, we will be learning from these experts. Dr. Vaseem is our second resource person. He is our assistant professor over here in uh, uh, Center of Excellence in Water Resources and uh, he has a great uh, uh, knowledge profile and research profile in the field of uh, 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 drought predictions, flood modeling and uh, uh, use of the statistical tools and use of uh, latest uh, technologies for understanding the uh, natural system affecting the hydrology and affecting the agriculture sector in a certain area. So these events are not easy to uh, organize. So uh, event organizer, uh, engineer Fraz, thank you to you. Uh, and Dr. Vaseem, thank you to, to you. Ezaz, thanks to you. Uh, for your efforts uh, that has resulted in a uh, start of this event. Hopefully this event will be ending in a good note, in a positive note. Dr. Ashraf, uh, uh, Dr. Athar Ashraf, thank you to you again. Uh, hopefully uh, we will be having a, a physical meeting also in near future too. And uh, all the best to the uh, participants. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.